uh, we're late in the season and the road isn't open yet. It's, uh, it's very worrisome because uh, we have a huge impact with our uh, community resupply. We have constructions that's coming and uh, uh, propane, all the bulk uh, fuel, whatever that needs to come in, it's on hold. It's a huge impact. It's going to cost us about a year setback to, to get, try to get some stuff in because um, in the springtime, in the summertime, we had a water level being so low as well. That was a huge impact for us as well. Here, it's very weak. It's very, very thin for the kind of maximum weight we need to put on there. It's 17 inches thick. It's supposed to be like 30 inches minimum before we put heavy equipment on there, like we're bringing fuel, bringing propane. but. But this year we're not bringing enough propane and hopefully we don't, we don't run out this summer, before summer. Right now it's gas. They're bringing gas across in barrels. And uh, the community of 1,800 people, they're probably using about 2,000 liters a, a day. And they're barely keeping up. They are keeping up, but you know, for how long? Like, you know, four weeks, four more weeks? And there's no jobs in this community that's going to don't have much, you know, don't have that many jobs in the community that can pay for all the spices and high prices. Like, we're paying a dollar sixty-nine a liter of gas in Wollaston, and you're paying like 60 cents a tax too? That's not fair. Well, if we always advise people that uh, to enter their, at their own risk, and it's very dangerous.